Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Netflix earnings just came out and they beat their expectations, but their stock still fell 14%. In this video, I'm gonna talk about what happened to Netflix, why did it fall, and I'm also gonna be doing a market analysis on Netflix to see if you guys wanna day trade or swing trade Netflix yourself. I'm gonna draw myself some setups on how I'm going to play Netflix in the near future, but I'm going to draw it out as in the worst case scenario. If I draw it out in the worst case scenario, it gives me the best chance for my risk to reward ratio to be outnumbered by my reward. My risk to reward ratio means that when I when I buy a stock, I'm willing to risk for this company to go down 5% before I sell. And my reward would be that I see that this company has a 10 to 15% gain coming in its near future. But enough talking, let's get straight into the video. All right, guys, here we are on Thinkorswim. It is the platform provided by TD Ameritrade. It's completely free. I have Netflix pulled up right here, ticker symbol NFLX. Right now, we're looking at the 180 day, four hour chart. That means every bar that you see on here is represented as four hours. And if we zoom all the way out, it is the last 180 days. So as you guys can see, Netflix had a major boom right here all the way up up almost 33 percent over the last week and a half or so so netflix is a part of this tech bubble that everyone keeps talking about and it shows that it was super high it beat its earning report and it had a pullback the reason that netflix had a pullback even though that they did beat their earnings report was because the ceo said that even though during the we got so many new users to sign up that they do not believe that they're going to have that same kind of growth the other half of this year so they're saying yeah we did do good and we beat expectations for this quarter but next quarter we don't think that we're going to see the exact same type of growth that we've seen from this previous quarter so that's why it was a major sell-off and also that netflix was actually overpriced right here if we take a look at the rsi indicator is way above 90 is up there to the 91s okay so netflix was overbought and it was way overpriced hitting an all-time high of 575 dollars and 37 cents so of course it was gonna have a sell-off all it needed was some news and when bad news come out the market overreacts and that's exactly what it did pulling back 14 percent over the last week since the earnings report came out so while we have the chart set up let's go ahead and draw some trend lines even though down here it does say that netflix is oversold that's because bad news came out. If we zoom out on the one day, one year chart, Netflix is still so far from the 180 day simple moving average. This is, so we're looking at the one day, one year chart. Uh, Netflix is still so far away from the 180 day simple moving average. If we draw arrows here at the end of the simple moving average line, it is pointing that it is in a uptrend. But so Netflix can pull all the way back to this 180 day simple moving average line all the way down here if it continues along this trend right there. It can meet somewhere along the lines right here and that will be a good time to buy into Netflix if you guys don't wanna buy into it now. The last time that Netflix was trading sideways, it was around 450 and 405 ish, 410 ish. All right, so that's the last time Netflix was trading sideways. So Netflix can pull all the way back to the $450 line, trade sideways until it meets the 180 day simple moving average. Because if you're taking a look at the MACD, it is about to cross and start to go back down and the RSI is pointing down. So it can, so it can continue to sell off just like the last time it sold off on Netflix. If Netflix ever come back down to being oversold, just like at this point right here, that would be a great time to buy back into Netflix. But let's zoom in into the 180 day for our chart. There we go. So we did have these lines drawn up from the one year chart. We're on the four hour 180 day chart. If we draw an uptrend right here saying that it might stay true to this line right here. The reason I drew this line is because it touched right here. Touch, 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 touch and netflix might pull all the way back to touch again right here 
meeting somewhere along the 180 day simple moving average on the four hour chart. Zooming in, I see Netflix pulling back to around right here, bouncing back up to around that consolidation mark and then bouncing all the way back down through the uptrend line so and pulling back all the way around to the 450 dollar price point which is right here 455 dollars consolidating somewhere in there so i can see netflix bouncing off the uptrend line that we drew going back up and then pulling back down and breaking through that uptrend to come back down to $450. All right, so zooming out, that is how the chart looks right now. I know it looks confusing if you're not used to drawing some market analysis chart, but that is going to be my play and my setups on Netflix. All right, so there go the trend lines that I drew up. If Netflix stick to those trend lines and pull back to $450, I'll try to get a full share of Netflix and try to hold on to it until it rise all the way back up to its old all-time high. But $450 is looking like the price range that I'm willing to buy Netflix at right now. Right now, Netflix is at $492, $493. So I got a little ways to go for it to drop a little bit more for me to get a great value on Netflix. Could it go up from here? Sure, it could go up from here, but I'm doing the worst case scenario. Hopefully it drops back down to $450. I'll buy a share and ride it back up and let Netflix continue to make their amazing movies on their great platform. But other than that, that's all I got to say about Netflix. If you guys wanna follow along on what I exactly do with Netflix, make sure that you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.